Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another case of 2023 Top Series 1 Baseball Jumbo 6 Box Random Team Number 4. One spot gets you two teams. All card ship, all teams are in. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Let's double you up. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. And let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Four and a five. Nine times each. One, two, three, four, five, six. And ninth and final time, we got Kevin down to Dan. Four and a five. Nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we've got the Twins down to the Diamondbacks. All right, so Kevin P., you got the Twins. Greg with the Rays, Tristan with the Padres, Eric with the Cubs, Greg with the... Uh, Jays, Ian with the Pirates, Michael Gallucci with the Cardinals, Ian with the Mariners, Kevin M with the Nats, Jeremy with the Giants, Tristan with the White Sox, Jeremy with the Brewers, James with the Rangers, Kevin with the Marlins, Michael with the Yankees, Bill with the Royals, Eric with the Orioles, Dan with the Astros, Tristan with the Guardians, Ed with the A's, Jesse with the Tigers, Chris with the Braves, Bill with the Mets, Jesse with the Reds, Kevin M with the Phillies, Chris with the Red Sox, Tristan with the Rockies, James, you got my Dodgers, Ed P with the Halos, and Dan with the snakes. Let's sort by alphabetically by column B. We're going to pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals are done here on Wednesday the 15th. Random team four. No more series one at the moment. But we may get some more later on this week. Just keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. But I think between us, YouTube, and the Personal Breaks channel on Instagram, moved a lot of boxes. So thanks, everybody. Now, we were lucky earlier today because we got some help from uh, from my colleague, eBay, Michael, eBay Michael Jaspi, who does uh, the singles cards on, and boxes now on our eBay account. Just search Jaspi's case break. So he helped us out earlier today, so that made the break a lot faster. Unfortunately, I'm going solo on this, so this is going to take a little bit longer than the earlier ones. We will do a recap at the end of the break. So if you wanna, if you're re-watching this video, you can fast forward to that. There's Ken Griffey Jr. in the box topper here. If you're watching this live, you're stuck with me. Now Mike Tower was uh, was asking earlier if Jaspi's if Jaspi sponsored a drink, what would it sponsor? Would it be Orange Crush? Yeah, I, I guess we do have orange in our in our team color in our colors here. Orange crush. I like that. Jaspie, sponsored by Orange Crush. You know, crush breaks with Jaspies. Crush your thirst with Orange Crush. What about something like that? Crush your thirst with a little orange crush. What soda do I or soda do I prefer? Orange crush, orange Fanta, or orange Sunkist? I prefer orange sodas in that very order. Right? Orange crush, then orange Fanta, then orange Sunkist. I remember I have fond memories of Fanta because when uh, when we would, when I was a wee lad, when my parents and I, when we would take a vacation to visit relatives in Korea, uh, Fanta was really popular there. 
I mean, I think Coca Cola is now that was still standard too. But but your your alternate maybe not Pepsi though. Um, but the the alternate the third party soda there was uh, was Fanta in in all the the wide variety of Fanta flavors. So I do I do enjoy that. An orange crushed lime, do they, does that exist? An orange crushed limeade? We'll do a left, center, right randomizer on that. We'll do that at the end of the video. Now the key guys we're looking for, of course, Adley Rushman, his teammate, future teammate Gunnar Henderson, Riley Green, Nolan Gorman, Michael Harris. As a Dodger fan, I'm also including Miguel Vargas. I'm going to go to James and the Dodgers. A little Dodgers bias there. There's Mitch Hanniger to 199. And the auto coming up. Nice. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Nice start. Nine out of 25. Toronto. Gregory with the Blue Jays. Gets the nice relic. The nice auto. All these Nolan Gormans will go to Michael Gallucci and the Cardinals. Maybe we'll find his autograph or a shorter print or a numbered card. There's Mitch Hanniger to 199. That'll be for Ian and the Mariners. I don't know what I don't know what the the string of words you just put together, Rex. I, I Fago was good too. Then ICP took it over. The insane clown posse. But what's Fago? Got it out of 4.99. Riley Green, nice. That'll be for Jesse and the Tigers. I've never heard of Fago. It's a brand like Fanta, but the Insane Clown Posse now run it. Insane Clown Posse is in the uh, in the soft drink industry. Yeah, they're, they're a lot more diverse than you think. There's Michael Harris for the Braves, Chris Miller. It's mostly sold in Michigan. We got Kiebert Ruiz. Huh, it was their drink of choice, interesting. Are they from Michigan? They do some takes on other flavors. Their Mountain Dew is Moon Mist. They have Dr. Fago. And the regional, the regional soda, regional soda world is interesting. I don't know if, I don't know if California has any interesting regional sodas. I'm sure we do. Here's a Dale Murphy to 75. Braves, Chris. Justin saying we've got Fago here in North Carolina. Hmm. Does it taste good? Is it is it uh, comparable? Maybe even better. Josiah Gray, future stars, 
to 2023. Kevin with the Nationals. And I love these City Connect. I know these are manufactured relics, right? But they still look pretty sharp. Mike Trout, City Connect. That will be for, for Ed. Last spot mojo with the Halos. Eminem famously said they, they claim they're from Detroit, but they live 20 miles away. We have a cheer wine that's regional to your area. My favorite is Red Pot, which is strawberry flavored soda. Justin Clements, a Dr. Pepper. I do, I do like a Dr. Pepper. Um, I have to, I have to pony up for, uh, they have a factory in Texas. Oh yeah, exactly, Mike Tower, we're on the same page here. There's a factory in Texas that makes Dr. Pepper with cane sugar. Now, apologies to the high fructose corn syrup industry, but I'm not a fan of the high fructose corn syrup. So if I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy a soda, you know, I often try to uh, make sure that it's a cane sugar soda. Should confirm this, this was a great Lakers team out of LeBron. <laughs> it's like he doesn't play, they suck. Right, yeah, confirm LeBron pretty good. Although they beat, uh, they beat the Warriors over the weekend, didn't they? They did, but then uh, they like got blown out by the Trailblazers. Oh, no, dude, I was actually watching that game at home. Like they, they dude. Well, first of all, they dropped like eighteen threes yeah, well, on them. First of all, like, I think the, they were shooting like ninety like percent from that, three. That was the craziest like day for like shooting. I think they were like fifty nine percent from three. Or which is like ridiculous. Which is ridiculous. Yeah, but, I think literally got pulled in the third with forty points. But then it's just like maybe Lakers should work on some perimeter defending. Yeah, <laughs> just a little tiny bit. I mean, that won't happen. There's Garrett Cole for the Yankees. That relic will go to Michael Gallucci, the Bronx Bombers. There's a BBQ place, Mike Tower is saying, that opened in Illinois where the people from Texas, they would get the cane sugar Dr. Pepper trucked there to sell in their Illinois barbecue restaurant. Yeah, I think I should be able to order them online, but it's sort of cost prohibitive. So I'm just waiting until someday some of it gets distributed out here. Maybe I just have to pony up and just, just get it. Rex said, we once sold cane sugar brothers to Coke, Dr. Pepper Sprite from Mexico. Yeah, why? Why are you not selling those anymore? I think maybe Mike Tower, Big Soda came in and there's like, or Big Soda distributor came in was like, listen, you're not getting those from Mexico anymore, buddy. Big high fructose corn syrup stepped in. Follow the money, Mike. And they were like, You better stop ordering those Mexican Cokes or else something bad might happen to your grocery store. There's Miguel Vargas. Oh, they, you know, they just stopped working for that specific distributor. I, know, I, think, I think you know what happened. Big fructose corn syrup came in. Yeah, the big soda cartel came in. I guess it's more distributors, right? It's still Coca-Cola. I guess the big distributors came in, they're like, yep. It's Calerpkin Jr. Huh, they had a... There was a huge wooden rack for them as well. They had specific, wow, they went all out. Well, I don't know if the Hispanic community has anything to do with Mexican Coke. It's just, it just happens to be produced there. I guess maybe it's more, it is common kind of. Actually, yeah, next time, 
Next time I know, I know some people go down there. But I gotta find a cane sugar Dr. Pepper. Gotta get that from Texas. Mike Tower, uh, you wanna go pop on that website if you have a second? Do a little research for me? How much, how much does it cost? Maybe pr prices probably have gone up, probably with with shipping and supply chain issues and inflation and all that. They may not even ship out of state. We got a Miguel Cabrera and a Frenchy Cordero. Two ninety nine, Frenchy, Frenchy, Justin Clement, French. You might find it here in Texas. I might have to go to Texas, James. A bottle can go anywhere for one to three dollars. I'm willing to pay that premium. On a side, you saw a video where, where they, who's they, claim that Dr. Bear is really just a combination of Coke and root beer? And we got a redemption. It is... It is James Altman for the Dodgers. That goes to, that goes to James. James with James. There you go, James. James Altman's supposed to get some looks in the outfield. Maybe get some outs, out man. Oh, just, just, just a little French, Cordero, Frenchy Cordero. It's French. Just connecting dots. Ah, good question, James. What is a redemption card? You're new to this. Basically, that means our friend uh, James Altman got gets sent a bunch of these cards to sign, like by Tops. They, they get it sent to him. They got their obligation is to sign a stack of these, send them back to Tops so they can insert them into these products. Our boy James Altman did not do his job, and so they're like, "Well, he's supposed to be in here. We're going to get the cards from him eventually." And then once he fulfills his duty, they will send that card to you. It's Caleb Smith 2023. Now, depending on the player, sometimes it could take a short amount of time to get that autograph back. Sometimes it may take ages to get that back, years in some cases. No one's a fan of the redemption. The manufacturers aren't a fan of it. You know, fan, collectors aren't a fan of it, but sometimes it happens because guys don't do their jobs and they shirk their duties. They're shirkers. There's Brian Bello, 42 out of 50. That is for the Red Sox. That'll be for Chris. Yeah, Rex, you can you can buy anything online. It's the uh, the understatement of the day. Concentrated, yeah, you can just buy concentrated Gatorade. Just tubs and tubs of just powdered Gatorade. It's Gunnar Henderson, gold, nice. And his teammate Adley Rushman. Eric Christensen, nice. What's everyone's favorite root beer? Barks, that's a good root beer. 
I'm not a. Uh, I feel like I never reach for a. If I'm if I'm getting the the occasional soda, I'm not reaching for the root beer. But sometimes when you go to a uh, when you go to a pizza place, right? The kind of pizza place where you're sitting on long benches, that kind of pizza place. I feel like you kind of. And if you're not drinking a, an adult beverage, I feel like I feel like you kind of have to get a root beer, right? Just a fountain root beer. Yeah, root beer and a po' boy go hand in hand. That sounds good. It's Cal Raleigh and a 2023 Christian Yelich Brewers for Jeremy. City Connect, Salvador Perez. You know, I feel like the plastic red glass was a staple at a lot of pizza joints. I remember some local pizza joints when I was a kid that would have those those red plastic red plastic glasses. Goldschmidt, gold. Remember all cards ship. Gunnar Henderson. Yeah, Justin's saying that the, the sweet tea seemed a little bit sweeter. in those red cups. Uh, no, Jeremy, no auto yet. Where Was the Altman the auto? Altman might have been the auto, the redemption. It's Tristan McKenzie, Guardians. Tristan four, Tristan. Fourteen out of one ninety nine. There's a Nolan Gorman siding. I might have missed some other ones, but Cardinals, but all card ships, so any one of those I miss. We're obviously on, on keeping our eye out for the more important ones, like the parallels for sure. And we got a Julio Rodriguez to 2023, second year Julio. Ian with the M's. Yeah, it looks like that James Altman redemption. That was the autograph, that's right. Junior is your box topper.
Nick is asking if there is a specific case hit out of Jumbo. No, there is not. There are uh, short prints that we're chasing, like the home field advantage inserts, another special short printed inserts, but those aren't necessarily guaranteed one per case. All right, next box. Sean Green, remember Sean Green? Brendan Rodgers to 499. No, not the EPL coach, Brendan Rodgers, but the baseball player. Here's Bly Madras. Bly? Pirates. That's going to go to Ian. Bly? I'm going with Bly. It's Brendan Rodgers to 499. I think I heard from the grapevine. If you complete the foil set, there is a big cash prize. Who's giving away that cash prize? I mean, someone might might be, you know, offering like a bounty kind of privately, but I don't think that's like a I don't think that's like a tops contest or anything like that. Love the dirt on the jersey right here. Gunnar Henderson, that's what you like to see. Yeah, it could be some foil set cartels just trying to corner that foil market. Just follow the money, guys. Big foil. Noah Syndergaard, Kyle Hendricks, that's to 2023. Kind of hard to see the numbers right there, but it's right there. Uh, Cubs, Eric Christensen. I mean, maybe one of those guys on uh, on that channel is uh, maybe they're privately have a bounty that's set out there. So I don't know, but it's nothing. I don't think it's anything like official from from the company, though. Here's Sandy Sandy Alcantara to one ninety nine. That will be for Kevin Parker and the Marlins. Nolan Gorman. But yeah, you gotta take things <laughs> from the internet with a, with a grain of salt. Always, always fact check, always cross reference, always get extra sources. Got another base rookie card, Nolan Gorman. And Miguel Vargas for the Dodgers. I feel like every time I'm, I flip, I'm going to flip this round, it'll go right back upside down, see? Mm. 
We got a Josh Naylor, 53 out of 499. Tristan of Cleveland. And nice city connect, Freddie Freeman. It's for James and the Dodgers. Chris with the Braves. Merrill Kelly. Not sure that why that was flipped around, but there he is. It'll ship. A Bryce Harper and a Michael Massey to 2023. Royals. That'll be for Bill. Ronnie Garcia and a Big Mac. A's edition, Mark McGuire, piece of his lumber, game use lumber. Maybe hit a home run with this with this piece of lumber right here. It goes to Ed P and the A's. Jesus Sanchez, a Zach Thompson to two ninety nine. Natalie Rushman. Ian with the Pirates gets the Zach Thompson orange. Another Adley Rushman rookie card for Eric and the O's. No sign of a parallel or ink yet. But we're halfway through the break. We've got a few more boxes to go, so fingers crossed. Got a Bubba Thompson, 25 out of 50, gold. Oh, Jason just pulled a one-on-one -on -one Kaminga. Bubba Thompson going to the Rangers. James with Texas. All right. About another 30, 35 minutes to go in this one. We'll do a recap at the end. We've got Dodger edition of Trey Turner top in that box. Anything else going on in baseball? We got Casey Mize underwent back surgery last year. Tigers right-hander Casey Mize underwent Tommy John surgery in June of last year. There's an extra layer of complication. He says all the all the went, underwent a back surgery around the same time. We've seen his two issues as a right elbow sprain and a lumbar strain, something that he's been dealing with for a while. Hmm. He was going to be out for a long time with Tommy John anyway. So he's like, might as well knock that one out too. Yeah, is he gonna be gone for the year? I thought, I thought they said Montas might come back late season, but have they ruled him out just entirely? Yeah, Casey Mize, that's a good bounce back candidate. 
I feel like he was starting to starting to get into a little bit of a groove, the former number one overall pick. But then this latest setback, we pretty much won't see him for much of this season, I think. Maybe late in the season. Now they might, may as well leave him out. Get a little hydration here. All right, next box. What happened with Brady Singer and Corbin Burns? There's Steel Walker to 76. I think so. I think that's the plan. I think Walker Bueller should be back mid to late season. I doubt they'll I doubt he'll have time for I doubt he'll have time to be stretched out for starters innings, but they could pop him into the bullpen, kinda like what they did with Dustin May last year. Oh, they both lost arbitration. Well, what's gonna happen to them is not very interesting, Rex. They're gonna sign the one year deal as agreed to in arbitration that they lost. <laughs> and they will play on a one-year deal. There's Max Stasi to 2023. And Leover Peguero. Supposed to be an interesting prospect here. Rookie auto for the Pirates. Ian. Arbitration's weird though. Like that's kind of a you never want to go to arbitration because now you, it just puts a sour feeling in, in a lot of people's mouths because you're going to to, to an in, independent arbitrator and from the team perspective you're trying to tell them why you shouldn't pay him that money. It's Corey Knebel for the Phillies and then you know the players arguing why he should deserve that money, but it's sort of a weird situation, but I mean, that's just the business of baseball, I guess. That's baseball. That's my Susan Sarandon Bull Durham impression. That's baseball. Yeah, Strasburg with us with a setback, huh? Yeah, I don't think I think I don't think he's ever going to be a hundred percent. I don't know how many years he has left in his deal, but I wouldn't be surprised if he just if he just hangs it up in the next few seasons. Injury, rehab, Try to get back on the field, get injured again, rehab. I mean, it's a grueling process. There's Josh Stomont to uh, 199 for Kansas City. That'll be for Bill.
Here's uh, Jonathan Aranda, one, two, three out of 199. Gregory, the Rays. Ben Intendi. And there's the city. That's a cool patch right there. City Connect, Brendan Rogers. Tristan, The Rocks. Adley uh, Rushman. to 2023. Cardinals, that's going to go to Michael Gallucci. The Miguel Vargas will go to James and the Dodgers. It is not. We've got two more right here. Yeah, no way this is the last box. Not in not in forty two minutes. Anthony Rizzo. Piece of the pinstripe. For Michael and the Yankees. There's an MLB.com headline that says uh, nasty raise rotation could be best in baseball. Could they be? Second to last box. Oh, Rex is saying Mets have the best rotation. At least on paper. There's Miguel Cabrera, box topper. We need a Rihanna halftime show for this. She's more than welcome to to pop by the shop. Rihanna, if you're listening, if you're watching, feel free to contact us. Jasky Sports Cards and Collectibles, 1402 Pacific Coast Highway, or most of each California, 90254. Feel free to come by and do a song or two for us anytime you want to. Open invite. Open invite.
So for the Rays, coming off the season in which they ranked fourth in, in MLB, in ERA, the starters, and then just third and just rotational here, the racing they're, they're about to get even better on the mound. They see a chance they can potentially dominate. Ace lefty Shane McClanahan looking to build off a breakout year. They got Tyler Glass now fully healthy, Zach Eflin on that team. Jeffrey Springs and the underrated Drew Rasmussen in there. And they got Yanni Chirinos, Taj Bradley, Luis Patino, Josh Fleming coming up the ranks as well. That could be a maybe not the, the big sexy names on there, but But uh, the Mets rotation. Yeah, I mean Scherzer, Verlander, Quintana, Cody Senya. That's a pretty strong rotation, too. They sure do, James. The Dodgers are going to find out what that farm system is really about now. They're, I think they're going to play a lot of the kids. But I don't know. Max Scherzer, Justin Verlander, two kind of older pitchers. Do they look better on paper? They have better resumes on paper, but, you know, Scherzer and Verlander are kind of old. They lost Jacob deGrom. Quintana's solid, and Cota Senya is sort of a unknown at this point. <laughs> How did Rihanna's robe keep getting bigger through the halftime show? Yeah, it was billowing a little bit, wasn't it? Maybe, maybe some, maybe there were some fan machines in there that helped billow it. And there's some technology there, some fashion technology. We've got Jeter Downs, rookie auto for the Red Sox. That's going to be for Chris Miller. the Rays going to move that stadium? I feel like they've got a stadium issue kind of up in the air. And we've, we've spoken about this plenty of times, but we've got some people that are, we've got some, some uh, Jaspi fans that are in that area as well, and they're like, that's, that's a hassle to get to the current, or the current stadium. It's a real hassle to get there. they got to move the stadium to where, where the, uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers um, and, and where the lightning play. <laughs> yeah, Rex. I was like, I was like, Kenzie's not from the 90s. Rex dropping, dropping paper by Kenzie references here. I do like that. I do like that. You can teach an old dog new tricks. Green. Speaking of Jeter Downs, just a few moments ago, that autograph. Unfortunately, I think he's been, I think he's been released by the Red Sox, right? He was supposed to be. 
think he was supposed to be the centerpiece of that Mookie Betts trade, and I just think it just did not work out. Here's Noah Syndergaard, orange, still Phillies edition here to 299. He's with the Dodgers now. Riley Green, another one for the Tigers, Jesse. Twenty twenty three Ryan Presley for the Astros. That'll be for Dan and the Strohs. Another Riley Green, another Miguel Vargas. Here's here's one of the uh, here's one of the uh, Dodgers youngsters that should get a lot of run this season. Hey, that's a that's a great place. I mean, you know, back in the day, I feel like if an artist had a had a song in a commercial, they'd be like, "Oh, he's so and so selling out," right? But nowadays, artists have to get get songs into in commercials and stuff. Just get that exposure, make a little money there. It's Alec Thomas. Dan Tyson. Cunha Jr. Gold. David Villar to 2023. Eduardo Escobar to 499 for the Mets. Be for Bill. Major League Material. Luis Robert. Piece of his lumber going to Tristan in Chicago. Oh, it was our own commercial, but it was But it was on Hulu though. A record label doing the work. And hey, let's get some ads on there. Wainwright's doing one more season, right? Is that right? And then he's then he's hanging it up. Final box. We've got an Ichiro box topper. Silver packs. The last jumbo box. We haven't seen a uh, we haven't seen a uh, super fracture yet. Not that I'm expecting. <laughs> There's so many so many packs, so many cards in this. 
one of ones are really difficult to find in a product like this, but it'd be cool. It's funny, I remember when cassettes died, people lost their minds. CDs died, everyone. Did people lose their minds? I think people welcomed the the uh, the better technology. The streaming. Um, hmm. I don't know if streaming will, will, will like be replaced by anything, but I guess how we stream. Hmm, that's a good question. Is there a post-streaming world? How else would you consume music unless we go back to... I mean, unless there's a technology where it's... where, you, where people want to go back to a physical medium, and I guess that could kill streaming. There's Michael Harris to 199, nice. But the sheer convenience of just having your phone and pressing, tapping your screen a couple of times and pulling up any song in the world. Is, I don't know if that's going to be replaced anytime soon. I mean, the machine in which you use that, maybe, you know, phone technology or wearable technology. The way it's delivered may be different, but I can't imagine streaming will, will be there. There's Dave Stewart, Ed with the uh, A's. But, but yeah, I mean, the thing is most, you know, you can still get records or CDs and stuff like that. If you want a higher fidelity sort of sound, if you're into that, that option is still out there, you know. And I think the sales of vinyl has actually been far greater than it has been, you know, since compact discs. Sandy Alcantara to 88. That's for the Marlins, that's for Kevin. But like, yeah, I, I, I guess I could see that happening more often. Like, there'll just be too many streaming services and then eventually there'll just be too much and then, you know, all this, there'll be a ton of streaming services that'll just go out of business and then it'll get consolidated down to one streaming service. You know, the, the, the record labels are probably killing themselves because they really did have, kicking themselves because they really had a chance if they embraced streaming services a lot earlier. They would have had a lot more control over the, uh, over the industry. Uh, yeah, sure was. Sorry, did I not shout it out? Yeah, that's for you, Jeremy, to two ninety nine.
How long was it go? Or was 57 channels? I don't know. Pre-cable, I guess. Or, or the early days of cable, maybe? Robbie Ray Orange and Julio Rodriguez. Commemorative team patch. Mariners, Ian with the M's. Bruce King's going to be at Wrigley this summer. Is, has he never played Wrigley before? There's Riley Green. Springsteen's a great, I saw Springsteen a number of years ago. Fantastic show. Hey, we got, I think these are, these are short printed. We saw La, La Bestia for Ronald Acuna Jr. And here is El Nino, kid. Padres, that's for Tristan. Patrick Sandoval, Jaron Duran Duran to 199. Future stars for Boston, that's for Chris. Piece of Eddie Murray's lumber for the O's, Eric. Oh, he did. Oh, he has played. Michael Chavis to 2023. That's that. Silver packs. Let's see what we got there. Silver packs. Silver packs. So we got a Michael Harris for the Braves. That's going to go to Chris. And that, my friends, is that. Let's do the left, center, right randomizer, and then we'll do a quick little recap. Let's roll it and randomize it. And the side on top is where we're going to send those. Two and a five, seven times. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, left side. We'll get them. So the left side teams will get these cards. Recap for random team number four. An El Nino card is really cool. We got the Dave Stewart for Ed and the A's. Some City Connects, some nice parallels. I do like those City Connects. Paguero. We got the James Altman. Redemption, and we started off with Vlad Guerrero Jr. Nice break. Keep your eye out for more Series 1 on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.